Hello everyone and welcome to Geometry Section 1.5, the division of segments and angles. And first up we've got a little bit of vocabulary. We have the word bisector and the word bi means to, which should help. Um, this is a line, ray, or segment that divides a segment into two congruent segments. So let's say we had segment A, B, and then let's just make it a ray. And this ray divides that segment into two congruent pieces. And then we have a midpoint, mid being you know, middle. And so this would be our midpoint. And that's the point of bisection. So that point of bisection we just call the midpoint of the segment. So what's the difference between do these two definitions? Are they saying the same thing? The bisector is what actually does the bisecting. The midpoint is just a point. Bisector is going to be a line, ray, or segment that's doing the dividing. And midpoint is just that location where that segment is being divided. Our D and R midpoints. So here we have a ray, which we know has a starting point and goes forever in, this, in one direction. So, can D be a midpoint if it's going forever in a particular direction? Well, since it's going on forever, it's not going to be a midpoint because we can't take the midpoint of forever, especially if it looks like we're trying to define it at a certain location. And then, similar idea for the next one, R is on the line, which goes forever in both directions. And especially if we're trying to say that, you know, R is at that particular point, again, not a midpoint. Can't divide infinity. So it's important to note that midpoints are only going to be with something that is finite, something like a segment. What is this diagram indicating? So we see our tick marks that we learned indicate congruence. So th this is telling us that CH is congruent to segment HS. What else can this tell us? Well, it can also tell us that line RT is a bisector. More specifically, it's a bisector of segment CS. So the diagram is indicating just by these two tick marks that this line is bisecting our segment. H is the midpoint. We have two congruent segments and we have a bisector. Given. RT bisects CS. Prove, so we want to prove that CH is congruent to SH. Well, we know a bisector cuts a segment into two congruent pieces, so really this proof, you have our given statement, line RT bisects CS, that's given, and by the definition of a bisector, CH is going to have to be congruent to SH just because that's exactly what a bisector does. It cuts a segment to two congruent pieces. So that proof is done. Nice and easy. You can also bisect an angle, but be careful that you state that you have an angle bisector. So a bisector in general is going to be with a segment, but an angle bisector with the word angle in there makes it that it's part of an angle. So angle bisector is always going to be a ray and it's dividing an angle into two congruent parts so two congruent measures only a ray can divide an angle keep in mind that we can have a line that goes through an angle but so long as we can label let me label this a little bit
even though line EB is going through our angle, we can still say, and we will say, that our angle bisector is going to be this ray, B, D. So it's just important kind of as a distinction. Two points, segments, rays, or lines can divide a segment into three congruent parts, which is called trisector. Tri means three, and sect means the cut. Um, the points are called trisection points, so very similar, except we call them trisection instead of midpoint, because tri doesn't really translate as well as midpoint does. Um, two rays can also divide an angle into three congruent parts. Those just be angle trisectors. So an example, R, S, T. Now it looks like we've got an angle here. Is S the midpoint? We can only have midpoints with segments. This is not a segment. We have two separate segments. So is S a midpoint? No. Had R, S been moved here, we could say it is. But because of the way it's located, we can't say that. And lastly, AR trisect CD. So with that, I'm going to make my markings. So trisected. Those three th pieces are congruent. They have the same measure. So from that, do SA and AR trisect angle CSD? So we want to know if these rays trisect this angle. Well, with the amount of information that we're given, we cannot make that conclusion. So, really we don't know. And in geometry, when we don't know, we just say it's just going to be a flat out no. So after our quiz tomorrow, or later in the afternoon, depending on when you're watching this, you'll be able to kind of use these tools and get a head start on the homework so that way you have something to do once you are finished the quiz. So make sure you study tonight, go over previous problems by doing them and not just looking at them, and we'll see you in class.